Hello, and welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. So, those of you who saw last week's video, um, the weld shop tour, um, there's been a lot of questions. What are you actually capable of in this weld shop? And uh, I get the questions all over. I've had some phone calls even. What can you do? Well, this is an example of what we can do. We do some big stuff and we do small stuff, but the big stuff, um, this is, what this is, is this is the track frame for what is believed to be the first sawmill purchased in Washburn County, Wisconsin, where I live. Um, the gentleman that owns it is restoring it. Um, we did, about a year ago, before we started doing these videos, uh, we did a arbor repair and then poured new Babbitt bearings for it. So some pretty cool stuff we've done on it so far. Well, his track frame was all wood and it started deteriorating bad, actually warping um, and having all kinds of issues. So he asked me to make him a new steel frame. Uh, like I did for our, my mill. Um, my mill is a little different. Um, I didn't spend any money on the material. I got it, it was all scrap, so I pieced it all together and, and 48 feet long, perfectly straight, end to end. And uh, so this one is 40 feet and it's made with beam. It's two sections can be unbolted in the middle for ease of transport, ease of moving, um, but it's perfectly straight end to end. So let me grab the camera and just walk you through the build. So the track frame itself, is W6 by nine beam. And uh, this is this four beams here. There's six, six inch tall, nine pounds per foot. Now a lot of misconception with beams is there are I beams and H beams and well, yes there are, but they are actually classified by different designations. I believe there is an H beam, but the I beams are S beams and these are W beams. These are wide flange beam, um, which, if you lay them down, it's more of an H. But anyway, that's that's how these work. Um, these are spaced out with three inch channel and then these flat bars kind of hold everything together, tie it together so it can't move. And what we did is we started in the middle and welded on a gusset plate. And hopefully you can see this. So there's a gusset plate down there with four bolt holes and that's what holds these together, holds them true. So this can be removed there, it can be taken apart. And then we started on this end, on the north end. And that is welded in the first spacer, welded in the second spacer, and then ran the, the X of the flat bar across to keep it true. And then lined everything up again, welded in the next one, and then the axes to make it true, and so on. Finished it off the end with these, the channel in this, configuration with gusset plates. Then the other, we got to the other end and we had to straighten it out to match. And then same, same process, just going the other way. So pretty, pretty uh, straightforward, but quite a, quite a lengthy build. And the customer should be really happy with this. But it's 40 feet overall length in a 30 foot shop. Well, I hope that answers everybody's questions of what we can actually do here in the weld shop. Um, we can do small stuff, we can do big stuff, big interesting stuff. The entry crane right here, that was one we did in here, and the machine shop. So if you can dream it, we can build it. We'll make it happen. This is a small space, you know, it's 30 by 30, um, you know, 10 foot tall door, 12 foot wide on each end. But if we can get it through here in this space, we can do it. Um, so that's, that's what we're actually capable of. If you can dream it, we can build it. So this is a Tuesday video, um, and we're gonna release things like this on Tuesday when we have it. It isn't gonna be very often. We're gonna stick with Friday for our normal content, but we'll throw in the extras on Tuesday. And with that, please check out my website, www.toppermachine.com. And please like, subscribe, and share. Stay with us, see what's next. Uh, we always do some neat stuff, so just stay with us and uh, share our content, help us grow the channel. And with that, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time.